Now I'm being joined by Grandmaster Michael Adams from the OSG Baden-Baden. You played a very interesting and dynamic game in the Sicilian defense with the white pieces today. Can you tell us something about your game? Um, yeah, it was a very sharp game. Um, we were both kind of attacking on opposite sides, but uh, then at some moment he actually let me swap to uh, end game, and this end game was very good for me. I had a big space advantage, and then I was eventually able to win. Uh, but yeah, it was a very complicated uh, middle game. I was quite happy when things got a bit simpler. Sounds like fire on both. Where was the critical moment in the game? Um, I don't know. I think when he allowed me to swap queens, this was clearly very favourable. So he should do something else around there, I think. But okay, it's, I'm not absolutely sure what, what he should do. Uh, uh, probably some other rook move. Uh, I think I was rook fc8 was what I was thinking. And he said after the game the same. So I think we both thought this was the critical moment where he had to play better. Okay. And your team is doing very well. Do you think you, you, you will win today against Fenheim? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm reasonably optimistic about the match today. Uh, you know, still a lot of a lot of rounds to go. Actually, it goes so fast now to the end. But uh, so far, so good, I think. Really cool. Everything can happen in chess. We collected a lot of questions um, from chess fans from all around the world, and one of them uh, had the most frequent questions was um, how does a um, training day of a chess professional look like? How do you start a day and what do you train? Well, this is a bit of a uh, unique situation for me because it's my first rated game for a year since last Bundesliga and I never had this, well, since I turned professional when I was 17, so I have really no idea how I'm supposed to train for this actually. Um, but I feel a bit better now that I managed to finish uh, one game, but I think for a lot of players now it's difficult because they never had such a long break from, from sort of classical chess, so I was just trying to stay concentrated in general. I mean, here it's like, you know, two games a day, potentially uh, several days. So, I mean, then you really, and you only know your opponent one hour before. So it's really like just checking a few lines that you think might come up in, you know, 30, 40 minutes before the game and trying to keep energy for the games because it's going to be uh, very tiring uh, by the end. Lots of games coming very quickly. Ah, that's true. Do you think sleep is more important than preparation? Well, you, sleep is very important. If you're not sleeping, you're in trouble anyway uh, in tournaments, even with only one game a day, but uh, yeah, with two games a day, but okay. I don't think sleeping will not be a big problem after the amount of chess here. Yeah, everybody's exhausting after that. Um, in a few weeks or just around about a month, um, a very important chess match um, will take place in Dubai, the Chess World Championship match in Dubai um, from Magnus Carlsen, Magnus Carlsen versus Jan Nepomnici. What's your guess? Do you think who, who will win this game? Who will win this match? Um, well, I'm not very good at predicting these matches normally, but I mean, I think Carlson is a favourite. But uh, I mean, I don't think he's such a huge favourite because uh, Jan Nepomnici has a big uh, has quite a good score against Magnus in classical games, and I think that's that's kind of very important for him to have this confidence that he scored well against him in classical chess in the past. So, uh, but I think uh, still Magnus, I think, uh, is overall the strongest. I think he is a small favorite, but I think it could be quite close. Qu quite close match. And do you think that will be, there will be tactical fireworks and very interesting ideas? Yeah, I think so. Maybe not, maybe not right at the start, but I think in general it will be a very interesting match. Maybe a couple of quiet games at the start, but I think it will get very interesting by the end, certainly. We are looking forward to this. Um, you are a big. You are the best um, chess player from England and Great Britain, and you're a big institution in the for, in, in the Baden-Baden team. For how long do you play for the chess club? Oh, I don't know. It's many many seasons now. Actually, too many to uh, to count. But no, it's it's very enjoyable to play for the uh, the team. I really like it. Thank you very much for the interview, and um, I wish you all the best for this afternoon and the upcoming games in the tournament. Okay, thank you very much.